Hello and welcome to This Is My Architecture. I'm Simon from Amazon Web Services and I'm joined today by Rich from Sophos. Thanks so much for coming in Rich. Rich is going to talk to us about a common problem that many customers face, which is around inbound traffic inspection and outbound traffic inspection, scaling it, making it work, etc. But you've done some really cool things in the way you scale and the way customers can deploy. Tell us about it. Thanks, Simon. So the main use cases that we had were WAF and IPS, but we also have content filtering for the outbound. And so the question that we really had was, how do we scale to make sure that we can inspect all that traffic, regardless of it inbound or outbound? So the way we've done that is very interesting. What we've done is, typical architecture is we have an IGW and then we have an external ELB. And here what we've done is we've taken what we call a UTM controller. And this UTM controller is used mostly for the administration of all the other what we call workers that will scale out as the traffic uh, increases. So we take this UTM, we'll put this in an availability zone and then in another availability zone. We'll put the workers. And these workers are basically just kind of a clone of the UTM controller with the policies that are centrally managed there. So these are just EC2 instances is a default size, I'm guessing? Yeah, we usually use the M3 medium, but a customer can change that. So this is all deployed through our cloud formation templates. So if there's something that a customer would like to change, they can go ahead and put in those default parameters that they think. So it's automated but customized. Yep. Awesome. Yes. Mm -hmm. And the way we do our policy enforcement is, again, Amazon opens up pretty cool uh, scenarios for us. We do this using the services S3 and SNS. So what we'll do is we'll take a snapshot of the UTM controller with all the policies and we'll put that to an S3 bucket. And then if there are any changes initiated by the customer as far as policies or a need to block an IP, whatever the scenario is, again, we'll take a new snapshot, we'll push that to S3. But now what we do is we'll have an SNS notification that will indicate to the workers, I've got a new configuration setting. And so those workers will understand that, go ahead and take down that new configuration setting. And so now the policy changes have been pushed across the workers as, as they scale or come back in. So that means you're propagating state without storing state Correct. in a persistent way all the time. Correct, yep. Yeah, and if customers ever needed to kind of go through, look at the S3, configuration to see what changes or, or things like that they go ahead and look at those so that's their order well. point really correct mm -hmm. yeah so this is what we did for the inbound so again as traffic comes in these workers will start to scale they'll inspect the policy and then they usually pass it into an internal elb which is then used to spread the traffic across their ec2 instances over vpcs what we wanted to do with the outbound was mimic this scenario but it was a little bit challenging for us uh, usually because within an outbound you usually have a default gateway that could be either an ad instance or an ad gateway but for us we really need to be within the line of traffic to inspect it so what we did was we came out with a release that we call ogw and what this does is it actually takes and looks at the VPC subnets that a customer has and deploys what we call OGW instances. And these OGW instances act as the default gateway. So as they're deployed into the VPC subnets of the customers, they'll look at the routing table, they'll adjust that and say, I am now the new default gateway for all the EC2 instances or the main use case that we uh, run into is Amazon Workspaces for content filtering. So as that traffic comes and hits these OGW instances, we establish a GRE tunnel to these workers. We encapsulate the traffic and then pass that over to the workers. And so all the traffic flows from here to there. It's inspected by the workers. And then if it's allowed by the policy that the customers configured, then they could just go ahead and uh, push that out to the internet. Or again, if it's denied, it's dropped there at the worker. The so these are peered VPCs into like a central egress point? Yeah, you can do that. A lot of our customers, what they do is they call it a, a security VPC, where I have one VPC and that is kind of my main um, highway in and out of the internet and all the other VPCs are peered through that VPC to allow um, uh, communication in and outbound. But you also can do it with just in one VPC and if you have different subnets. So there's some flexibility. You can choose there. how you deploy. Correct. What about the actual scaling here? We mentioned that we use auto scaling. What, what are the triggers? How did you decide when to scale, how to scale? How to yeah, scale? so we really wanted to look at, we looked at network level and we thought, you know, it's, it's not going to be so dependent on that. It's really going to be what the actual workers are inspecting because within those workers, a customer could say, I only want to inspect a portion of the traffic or or maybe I want to inspect a portion of traffic, but a whole bunch of rules. So we really figured that CPU was the main trigger for us. So by default, the trigger is 70% of CPU. Of course, a customer can change that within our uh, templates as well. If they want to do it off another parameter that's maybe more specific to their environment, that's fine. But uh, regardless of the traffic coming in or out, they'll be able to scale, inspect that, and then scale back down when traffic goes into a lull. So if we're talking about the use case of that content filtering outbound, really we're talking about knowledge workers, employees, etc. 
but hopefully get some time off during the day. Yeah, yeah. Um, so we can build that and scale it as we go. Yeah, the main use case that we really drove around was uh, Amazon moving over to workspaces for a lot of their workers and having remote workers come in, uh, scale up their desktops, do their work, and then they're done for the day and they'll shut down. And so we really wanted to support that use case. So the content filtering that we do is based usually around, you know, what types of web categories can my users do? But there's also some browser quotas in there, like how long can they browse and things like that. But we wanted to have a solution that again would scale. So as the workers came in for the day and had a big demand, this will allow us with the OGW to allow us to scale out those workers, inspect that traffic, and then again, as everybody hopefully clocks out at 5 p.m., uh, things start to spin down. Mm -hmm. That's fantastic. A really interesting solution. Great use of S3 and SNS for notification. Obviously, great use of auto scaling and very novel to use GRE over those peer VPCs. Really nice. Really appreciate your insight. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thanks so much for watching. Look forward to seeing you next time on This Is My Architecture.